The Invaders from Beyond DLC or Patch 33 is bringing an unexpected change which prevents players from opening multiple clients all at once. Here's everything we know so far and how can you bypass this new problem. Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. It has been a long time, I know. I'm finally back after a long break, unexpected one actually. Things have sort of gone south for me, as you may or may not have realized through my latest announcement on both YouTube and Discord. I'm not here to complain about my personal issues though, so to make things short for the curious ones, Let's say several family members were diagnosed with chronic illness. I also got sick with another COVID vaccine. Even one of my cats needs babysitting now due to elderly conditions. It has been a difficult period, but it is what it is and you have to face what life throws at you, isn't it like that? Okay, with that out of the way, let's focus on the video's topic. With the upcoming update 33, players can no longer open multiple clients and play different accounts all at once. At least not the easy way, as it used to work until now. But don't panic, no, no, no. I spent the past couple of days testing and I eventually figured out how to make it work again. But before we get there, I think you might want to know the source of this issue or if it's even an intended change, right? Well, let's dive in into the details. Ever since the beta times that 76 players could open multiple clients and play different accounts at the same time, at least on PC. In fact, in my humble knowledge, there's quite some players who use this sort of option or freedom to easily trade in between characters and expand their character collection by trying out many more different builds and playstyles. But now, in 2022, Bethesda is changing the way things work. With update 33, when you attempt to open more than one client, the first one will always auto-close with this strange application terminated error. Sometimes you might even see this sort of empty error box or no error at all. All variations can happen. And now it's not just some sort of random error that happens sometimes. It is consistent. It happens all the time. I try to open to clients as per usual some 20 times and none of the attempts was successful not even one. That's when I decided to discuss this error with the data mining community and as per usual, many heads think better than one, so good thing I did that. The discoveries were quite interesting as you are about to see. Anyway, you might be wondering if this change is intended or just another bug. Let's talk about that. Well, 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 I checked the new update 33 patch notes back and forward and I couldn't find any point about this issue, fix, change or whatever it is really. I also tracked Bethesda's official discord for dev codes and nothing at all. So at first glance, I would say this change is not intentional. First, because it has never been referred as a bug in the past as far as I can remember, so why would there be a supposed fix for something that has never been considered an issue to start with? <laughs> Secondly, it hasn't been officially mentioned anywhere, at least not yet. As such, I find it hard to believe this is an intended change. It's most likely another new bug. That's what I would go for if I had to guess. We get lots of new bugs with every new patch, therefore I think this is the most logical and safest thing to assume for the time being. Either way, I think it's too early to draw any final conclusions since the new public test opened just a few days ago. I'm confident more details on this matter will rise in the next weeks, so stay tuned for more. All right, we might have basically nothing official to work with regarding this new multi-client change, but there are a few things we as users can do to understand the situation better. The first thing I noticed is that the error number provided with every client crash is always different. Now, I'm no programmer or developer, but that just screams failure to load the client. I'm not even joking, I have a collection of codes as proof there you go. Secondly, the crash boxes seem to be from Bethesda and not from Windows specifically. 
as someone also noticed here. Moving forward, several data miners ran scans on the 76 client crashes and the results were rather confusing at first. For example, AA2K ran several Windows diagnosed reports and nothing out of the ordinary came up. He also targeted the 76 clients using the tool process monitor and again, nothing conclusive came out of it. However, after some more scanning, he realized that the first client locks access to a few registry keys, while the second client is denied access, causing the process termination. Well then, things are starting to make sense now, right? The client is not auto-closing or crashing because Bethesda added some sort of barrier or new protection to prevent players from opening more than one client, but instead it's being caused because it's having issues loading essential registry keys, which require shared access to both clients for them to work. Now, what's left to discover is the source. What's causing all of this? That's the question, isn't it? That's also a challenge the data mining community did not turn down. According to the lead data miner Xera, there's nothing much going on when the client starts. In other words, there are very little processes happening before you log in into an account. So he instantly suspected the message of today box, which fetches data from registry keys even when there is no login, since the client always crashes whether you log in or not. That seems to be our culprit, just saying. Now, there is no real way to prove this is true, but it does make sense, a lot of sense, especially if we consider the findings from the previous point. Once you start the first client, it locks on the essential registry keys to load the message of the day. Then, when you attempt to open more clients, those will not have access to the same registry keys and proceed to fill the loading, which causes the application termination error. Ah, I feel like a developer professor right now explaining all of this. I hope I'm doing a good job at least <laughs> to make things clear. Now that you know the source of this new multi-client issue or bug, it's time for me to unveil my discoveries on how to fix it. As you guys probably know, I often use two accounts to test stuff myself. It's easier and more convenient than to frequently ask people to help me out. So I was quite disappointed when I learned I could no longer test things on my own with update 33. Or can I? I spent hours trying different things and I can assure you guys that traditional fixes do not work here. What do I mean by traditional fixes? Things like running the 76 client as an administrator, repairing or reinstalling the game, turning off your antivirus, firewalls or even copy pasting the 76 folder and trying to run a client from each folder. Nothing of that works. I did try, but no success. So I hope I can save you some time there if you are trying to find a solution around. I already did, so spare yourself from that tedious work. Thankfully, my efforts eventually paid off as I eventually found a consistent way to make multi-client work once again. And that's exactly the next point. That's right. After reading some more updates on the matter today, I realized that the errors can be a bit different and inconsistent depending on the user. Some people get client crashes all the time, even for the first one, and other players reported both clients to work, but rarely now. I think it's a true Sherlock case right here, everyone. Anyway, I had the impression that his access error only triggered a few seconds after the client starts. After all, the crashes are not immediate. It usually takes some 10-15 seconds for the crash to occur. So my idea to solve this was, what if I launched both clients at once, at the same exact time? Then supposedly both should request access to the registry keys at the same exact time and load the data at the same time too. And well, it actually worked, but I found out the hard way as I spawned the X during tests and yeah, ended up opening like 10 clients all at once. After enduring a deadly amount of flag, I was able to close them and reproduce this fix over and over again. Now to run multiple clients at once, you cannot use Steam or Bethesda's client directly. You need to go to your Fallout 76 main folder, select the X file as shown in the footage and then click the enter key twice very quickly to open both clients 
clients at the same time. Note that each enter will open a new client, so if you need more help yourself, just make sure not to spam it like I first did, otherwise you will end up with like 10 clients and your Windows will struggle and you have to wait a while because it lags a lot even if you have a good CPU like I do. I know the footage here is only the client, so I logged in with my two accounts and placed my characters close to each other so you guys can see the magic at works. Now something else that might help is changing your display to full screen. Even though this trick works with both displays, window and full screen, I had some issues making the window one work. Sometimes it just didn't work even though I was doing the same exact thing. However, with full screen, the results were always on point, 100% success. As such, I'm glad to share this solution with you guys. Because with this info in mind, multi-client is not gone, you just need to know what to do with Update 33 Afford. Do enjoy! Before we conclude, I have one last note about this matter. If you guys end up using my multi-client fix, keep in mind that full screen is not a very pleasant display mode to use. For instance, it seems to be a bit more unstable than the Windows mode. It normally generates more crashes than Windows. It also causes recording problems. So if you often record your gameplay, you really should be wary of full screen. I already lost a file as a result of all this testing. Instead of your gameplay or screen, the recording will turn pitch black and the only visible thing is your cursor's movement, as you can see in this footage, which was supposed to be me doing Invaders from Beyond, but instead it's just nothing at all. Anyhow, if you rarely record though, or you don't at all, then this is totally safe for you to use. You may have to endure a few more crashes than usual, but you will be able to play two, three, four clients at once. I think it's safe to say the trade is worth it. Well, that's it for this sort of guide feature overview. Multi-client is really not gone, as rumors have been spreading, so do not panic. Things got changed, yes, but it's most likely just a temporary bug. Plus, there's an easy fix around it, as I already showed you guys. Anyway, I'm currently working on a complete guide and rewards display for the new events, as well as major changes, so stay tuned for more videos on Update 33. I hope you guys are having a great year so far, and I will see you all very, very soon in the next one. Feel free to leave a like if you found the content useful, it helps a lot. And if it's your first time here, consider subscribing so you don't miss anything related to 76. I am Marty Branco, and I will catch you all later. Until then, take care, adios, bye bye!